In this video, I'll show you how to combine multiple Excel workbooks into one workbook. In my desktop, I have Excel workbooks folder. So inside that, I have two Excel workbooks. The first workbook contains serial number 1 to 5 and the second Excel workbook contains serial number 6 to 10. So how I can combine these two workbooks without opening and without copy pasting these files. So now in my desktop, I'm going to create a new Excel workbook. Let's say combine and let's open that Excel file. Then go to your data tab, click on get data from file, select from folder. So my folder is in my desktop. So let's select the desktop. I am going to select this folder and click on open. So now you can see here it is two Excel workbooks. Then click on combine this arrow, combine and transform data. This is the first file, this is just a sample. Select any sheet 1 or sheet 2, so it will be the sample. Then click on OK. Now you can see here in the Power Query, serial number 1 to 5 in the workbook 1 and serial number 6 to 10 are in the workbook 2. So if you don't need any of the column or you want to apply some filter, that also you can do that. Suppose you want to remove this column, then select this column, click on Remove Column, Remove Column. So now click on close and load all your information is combined and in consolidated into one now if you have removed the any of the workbook or add any workbook then you have to refresh the power query excel file let's open the power query excel file right now we have only one workbook right click click on refresh so now you have only one to five again bring back this workbook to here then open this workbook and then again right click and refresh for example you want to break the link then select the data go to your table design click on convert to range so now this will permanently remove the query definition from the sheet and convert the table into normal range if you click ok now the link will be removed so now if i remove any of the workbook from here then it is not going to impact my excel workbook so if i open that now you don't have any refresh options because I have already broken the link of the power query. Thanks for watching.